Hi, boys and girls. I'm here today to explain to you our district's distance learning plan. So everything that you are going to need is going to be found in Google Classroom. So the first step is you need to make sure that you are connected to Google Classroom. If you don't know how, there is a video on our YouTube channel showing you how, and you can dojo message me and, or Ms. Carp, and we can walk you step-by-step -step through the process. If you do not have access to any sort of device, there are still packets that are going to be provided for you at the school. I do know that they are trying to figure out a plan on how to get every single student connected to some piece of technology. I'm not sure the um, plan, but I know that the hope is to get everybody connected eventually. So if you do have a, a laptop, a Chromebook, um, a tablet, an iPad, please first log into Google Classroom. When you do, you are going to see that some things were changed around a little bit. It's still the same exact Google Classroom. We just had to change a few things in order for the district to allow us to keep the Google Classrooms that we had. They wanted all the Google Classrooms across the district to be uniform. So that way, if they're siblings or so on or so forth, they all look the same. So here is the Google Classroom. Yours might be pink if you're in Ms. Carpentry's homeroom. If you're in my homeroom, yours looks like this. Um, when you first click on it, you are going to see the stream. The stream is just all the different postings from different teachers of different assignments, and it could get very confusing. So I don't want you to even look at the stream. I want you to click on classwork. Always focus on the classwork tab. Here is everything that you need to have completed for the week. It's going to change weekly. So we are going to be posting a morning question here for you. You will see just like under math, there's an assignment right now. You will see an assignment underneath it. You will click on that. You will answer. It's going to be like a journal entry question. You will answer that. And when you're finished, there's very important to make sure that you click turn in on the assignment so you get credit credit for it. Then you're going to see a math section. This is what is required of you in math. There is a link for your iReady login, and you just click on it, and it brings you right over to iReady. I'm actually going to use this one here. So in iReady, you are going to see that the are, there are teacher assigned lessons. Right now there are four of them. They are going to be assigned to you on Monday and all four of them will be due by Friday. So maybe work on one a day. Um, they are fourth grade content. It's the skills that you need to learn for fourth grade. It's the skills that we would be learning in a whole group if we were together in the classroom. This is the stuff that I would be teaching you. So it could get a little challenging. And if it does get a little challenging, I did give you some little um, extra support resources over in Google Classroom. So here you can see that this lesson right here is called Understand Fraction Multiplication. If you're struggling, come on over into Google Classroom and you will find Understand Fraction Multiplication. If you just simply click on that, there is a link. And this link is another video explaining to you the skill. Maybe you understand it better through this video than the way iReady is teaching you. Maybe not, but it's another resource for you just in case you need it. It's not required. It's just um, if you need a little bit extra support. So there's one for each lesson that was posted for you. Okay. If you're still struggling, you could always ask me or Miss Carpentieri too, and we're glad to help you and walk you through these math. Um, this is your lessons that you have been doing in class all school year. This is the lessons that are on your level. These are still super important and you still need to work on these. You need 45 minutes of these a week and then you need these for also done a week. Okay. So make sure you're keeping track of that. You will also see over here, there is a section for reading. At the current moment, there's nothing here, but there will be. You will be using iReady for math and for reading. So here is under your reading section, your reading login. Um, here is where you're going to find science work. Here is your specials. Mr. Gilmore already posted a workout for you. Additional resources, speech and language. Okay. So all this is going to change weekly. So when you log in next week, you're going to see that all of this has disappeared and I'm going to change it to the skills that are in iReady. So everything that needs to get done is here under classwork section of Google Classroom per week. Any questions?